I'm pretty sure if you really looked at it in reality and not in the fantasy that we want to look at it as sometimes, we'll see that we didn't do everything together because there were times when he did go to the bathroom by himself. There were times when he went to the store without me. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's Coach Nyla. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's Coach Fatima. And we are co-wives and co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-authors of the book, Let's, Let's Talk, Talk Polygyny, Polygyny Uncensored. 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 <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> this video, guys, we're going to talk about something, and we've been asked this, we've been DM'd, uh, among other things, but this specifically, do women that are married to the same man have the same privilege? Now, people are like, do they? <laughs> it depends on who you ask, honestly. We know that they do. We have the same privilege, but society would say no because the initial wife is supposed to be there and any subsequent wife, wife or wives are not. It's that social conditioning, you know, and we have to be careful as co-wives to make sure that we're not the ones yeah. saying that, this wife doesn't have privilege or these wives don't have privilege because they're behind me or in, in, in the timeline in order. Right. And we don't talk about this stuff, but it is a thing. It is a thing. Cause somebody said it to me. It was like, well, remember Fatima, you got to remember something you're supposed to be seen with him. And I'm like, Oh my God. And it, she was right because that's what is dictated to us. That is what we're conditioned with, especially in the West, especially in the West. It's like, oh yeah, 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 you don't matter. Your kids don't matter. Your feelings don't matter. You know, your life does not matter. So yeah, it is, I think it is a thing. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, they definitely, <laughs> people are like, oh no, we don't know, we don't wanna hear about any, anything that you were going through, any problem that, or challenges you may have had, because um, you chose this. See, that's the that's thing. The um, mm -hmm. Which everyone who is in the situation or in the marriage or in whatever you want to call it, it was a choice. We would like to interrupt this video to let you guys know to make sure you are registered for the Women's Polygyny Masterclass. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's our four part Polygyny Masterclass with your coaches. Coach Nyla. And Coach Fatima. And we are going to talk about different things in preparing yeah. and thriving and growing in polygyny. Yeah, and your co-wife connection. Everybody asks us, so we're going to go there. We're going to talk about all those things. We really hope you guys join us. So make sure you click the link in the description and don't forget to register. We'll see you soon. I'll let you get back to the video. It's a choice to stay. It's a choice to be a part of it. It's a choice to go. It's a choice to, we all have choices. Right. And I know people will, will say, well, if we didn't stay, then it'll break up. You know, the family would, I'm not saying all choices are easy choices to make. Right. <laughs> what I'm saying Definitely is, it's still, <laughs> I'm saying it's a choice. That's the same thing um, in coming in, um, from an incoming wife or anything like that. The choice isn't easy to make to say, well, um, yeah, I want to. I'll marry a man who's married already and has mm -hmm. this um, history with his first mm -hmm. wife and these kids, and I have to find my place and find my way um, and see if I matter or anything like that. The thing is, it's not even about searching for polygyny. It's not about. I know there are some out there that do. No, yeah. and I don't knock that at all. Right. Um, there are some that do because I've heard a number of sisters that say, "Well, I'm established already," or. Yeah. Um, I'm in a school right now, or mm -hmm. I'm doing my career, and I don't want to be a full-time kind of like that wife. It's like, I don't need a husband that's like needing of me to be mm -hmm. full-time for him. Because we have to understand even our privileges as wives is that 
we are married. Yeah. You know, our privileges of, um, as wives are that we do have husbands that do certain things and provide and, you know, they're the protectors and the providers and those things like that. However, in polygamy is you do have these different dynamics where you yeah, say, you know, well, I don't, I have my co-wife here that she can take some of this, you know, so because yeah. he's over there some of the times, he's not always over here. So I can, you know, go visit, you know, the people who I want to go visit when I want to go visit them on those times when mm -hmm. he's not here. Or, you know, I can focus on my studies and not have to worry about having to make sure that he has something to eat or that, you know, um, I'm giving him company or anything mm -hmm. like that. And I know sometimes people don't, they're not ready for that conversation. They don't want to hear that. <laughs> they're not ready for the conversation of saying like, he's mine. They're ready for that. They're like, he's mine. Mm -hmm. This is my privilege. It's this, and this is this and that and the other. I'm not trying to share. I know I want to be all that is for him. But or do you really? It's easy to say that when polygyny comes into play. But before polygyny came into play, were you really on that same bandwagon saying, I want to be all and everything for him, that I want to be there doing everything every single time, yeah. want him to depend on me for everything that, you know, mm. you depend on a wife for when he wanted whatever it is he wanted, that you're like, was there ever a time? I'm just being real, guys. Can y'all tell me? Be real. Has there ever been a time like, you know what? Oh, my gosh, he is getting on my nerves right now. I, I, I care about him. I love everything. him. But right now, <laughs> it's like, yeah. can he just go somewhere? Can he go kick it with his friends for a second? Can we? I know a number of women in monogamy that's like, I'm so happy when he's out with the guys because now I can do my thing with the girls. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that he's out with the guys doing his thing because now if I just wanted to just read a book and, you know, start a hobby or whatever the case may be, I pick can do my nose. Things, right? <laughs> I want to pick my yeah. nose and he ain't there to see it. It can be something so we can keep it cute and ugly at the same time. But I've never said, oh, I wish I could just be there with him all the time. And just Child, his face please. all day long, no. every day. First every of all, day. if you did it, he'd roll his eyes at you. Like, oh God, will she go somewhere? And a lot of men do that. They'll be like, I need my space too. Need my space too, right? <laughs> you know, for bad body. We have to understand, mm -hmm. even in polygyny, the husbands ain't, oh, if he ain't with this wife, then he's with the other. If he ain't with this, no, he's doing himself and learning. Oh, I shouldn't have said it like this. It was weird. He's doing him and just being, you know, just living his life. Yeah. He's not. Okay, well, I can't, I'm not with her, so let me be with her. I'm not with her, so they let me be with her. That's that. not how the situation works. They have jobs, businesses, yeah, lives. It's natural to think like that. You know, if they just want to go get their haircut, can they get their haircut? My gosh. So just <laughs> <laughs> when it comes, I mean, I just think about it because I hear so many women that say, you know, well, we did all of this together until she want, came around. But did he she want to do all that? Together? Together? <laughs> like, but then they did, it's generalized, generalizing, distorting, and deleting because I'm pretty sure if you really looked at it in reality and not in the fantasy that we want to look at it as sometimes, we'll see that we didn't do everything together because there were times when he did go to the bathroom by himself. Right. There were times when he went to the store without me. There were times when he, you know, went to work for eight hours out of the day or went out of the so these type of things, it's like, if you did all of those things, then where did the time for him go by himself? Mm -hmm. Where did the time for you by yourself go? You know, mm -hmm. if you guys were in each other's face, making googly eyes at each other all day, every day, mm -hmm. you know, exactly. so. You need to quit remixing the truth. Right. And I know, and it's funny because I'm like, we're being kind of blunt with this and having, and joking in the same, you know, same uh -huh. sense, the tongue in cheek, because we do want to kind of poke fun at what we say. And it's not just, you know, mm -hmm. we're getting on, you know, our audience or people who are saying, we're talking about that as, you know, there are times when we may oh, yeah. generalize, distort and delete some stuff and be like, wait a minute, hold on, that did not happen. Oh, yeah. Or we'll get reminded that that didn't happen. And we're like, oh, okay, well, maybe I was dreaming that. Oh. So it is what it is. But the be, but it's because we have the privilege of being yeah. a wife. Oh. When you have that privilege of being a wife, you can say, um, 
you know, this, this is what I deserve. Yeah. This is what I have. This is what I should be having. This is what somebody should be given to me and everything like that. Because we are given that privilege because he can only, he don't even have to give all the, 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 the other extras. No, no. You, if you got Extra. food <laughs> for a and shelter, that's pretty much. That's where that is. That's pretty it. Much. That's, that's what you should have. Everything else is extra. Yeah. Everything else is extra. So when we have sisters that say, oh, well, you know, he paid my car note. He does this. He does that. But if he get married again, I'm going to. Uh, no, he, he, you know, I help with some of this. I help with these things. But if he get married and I'm not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. He better make, he better find a way. This yeah. That's that privilege talking. That's yeah. that privilege of, you know, him actually doing certain things and, you know, being that provider in extra stuff mm -hmm. that, you know, we forget that it actually is extra stuff. Instead of being appreciative of it and grateful for it, we, be, we are expecting of it. So it's like, are you expecting it to happen or are you appreciating the stuff? And if you're appreciating it, then you understand your privilege. We talked about that in another uh, video before when we talked about what men can't do that women can do. Yeah. And, you know, that's the same thing what wives can do, what single women can't do, what wives can say that single, you know, women can't say because mm -hmm. of the privilege. And I know because I've been there, I've been a single parent, I've been you know, um, in that type of position where I know the privilege of being a wife versus being a single parent. I also know the benefits, some benefits of being a, you know, a single person. I ain't gonna say single parent because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of yeah. stuff, yeah, you know, that you have to do and everything like that. But, you know, it is a different thing where you don't have to, you know, support quote unquote answer to someone else but yeah, that's usually a mindset it becomes a masculine mindset mm -hmm. because and, and it's, eh, well it is and you know it is what it is I hate that I had to put it that way but it is because people are like well men don't have to answer technically they have to yeah they have to answer to a law and they it's have to think way. about everybody else they don't have to answer like our husbands don't have to answer to us he doesn't go can i go out at 2 a.m and yeah. catch the bus or drive around right he don't have to answer to us he <laughs> has to answer to a law so the things that he needs to do that's pleasing to a law will please us and should yeah it should do, do you know do what you have to do anything else is extra anything yeah. else he doesn't have to come and say can i do like what co-wife said he doesn't have to do those things however we as wives because we are under the, you know, we're under the protection mm -hmm. of our husbands, a privilege. You know, we do have to do that because yes, he is responsible, you know, for the well-being of his family. And don't rob him of it. Right. He, you, you don't you don't get in the way of his responsibilities because especially with us being Muslim, he's not allowed to place what you want him to do in front of what Allah says he has to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that happens. That's part of that's that privilege too. Careful, mm -hmm. careful, because I wouldn't challenge a law with that. No. Careful, because he he gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna win every time. So yeah, we can't step in that in, in between that, and we never do. We're like, do what you gotta do. Exactly. He gonna do it anyway because yeah. he knows he got to do it. Right. And and if he's doing like you was just saying, my co-wife was just saying, if he's pleasing a law. Everything he gonna do is gonna fall right into place. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about. It. Now, when you get to the point where it's like, oh, he's doing the opposite of that, that's when you need to be very concerned, and you might have to make the ultimate decision. Right. You know, and we, you know, we're not gonna tell you when to do that because we all grown. But I get why sometimes married people are not married anymore. Mm -hmm. They have to get divorced because they get to a point where like, I can't do nothing with this. Right. Because you don't care about what your Lord wants you to do. Mm -hmm. So I can't do nothing with you, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make the offer you and I'm going to go leave the chat, right? I know who I like this for real. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what so, you yeah. do with me. Yo. <laughs> oh, it's going to be. Oh, 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 o
you know, so, for another, another, video, another video for another day because <laughs> those who know and follow us long enough know that I was married once before and yeah and that was in monogamy so that was a whole other thing so I get it and shout out to you all that make that decision because mm -hmm. it's not although it's not easy it's necessary mm -hmm. you know you got to do things for your your for your faith, for your sanity, mm -hmm. for your growth. And sometimes that means um, getting out of a marriage <laughs> and getting in another one, you know, when the time is right. right. So right. yeah, we need to talk about divorce too, because that's, that's all part of it. Cause sometimes mm -hmm. you get divorced from somebody and it'll lead you to the person you're supposed to be yes. with. Yep. So and it so might not be overnight. And sometimes that person you think you're supposed to be with is not the person, and it's somebody else. So we get that too. So we don't want to down anyone that's been a single parent, that is a single parent, that has been married before. Mm -hmm. And we definitely not going to get on people that are divorced and then got into polygyny because then that's a whole nother video too. So shout out to them because everybody wants their marriage to work. And if you don't, you need to go get therapy. Yes, because I don't know why would you marry someone to cause them stress and trauma and drama because if you don't want it to work, that means that you are being the villain. Yeah, you don't need to be married to nobody. <laughs> right. You know, we're not talking about the people that are married and is happy and then they have trials. We right. get that. But honey, if you get in a marriage immediately, go, I'm going to get stuff fail. Oh, I can't wait. Right. Something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> I don't know who I'm going like that, but especially watching our videos, but it might be, we never know. We just have to the let you know just there. in case you're watching these videos. Yeah. But yeah, but being a wife is a privilege in itself, um, regardless of what order you came That's in and right. polygyny. Uh, we have to understand that um, because of, you know, the protection and mm -hmm. the the um what you're provided and things as far as that yes there may be some ups and downs and some challenges because people will say well it don't seem like a privilege because now i'm feeling this way and this is going on mm -hmm. however that's because we're focusing on the wrong things Ooh. you know i want to make sure that we're focusing on what's right what's beneficial and really definitely look at the privilege that we have as wives and it's better to do that without comparing who has this, who did this, who was first, who was second, who, you know, came in and why they came in and how they came in, any of those type of things. It's so, it, it doesn't make any sense Same for, yeah, it doesn't make any sense for success. So if you want to be happy, if you want to be fulfilled why dwell on things that does not serve you like my co-wife just stated so you know understand your privilege embrace it mm -hmm. you know um actually be okay with that because sometimes we hear privilege and we think like oh it's kind of like a bad thing because yeah. you're like you don't want to be the one privilege and people are without and everything like that if you understand your privilege, you can be more humble. You can be yep. more empathetic and more sympathetic with people who don't have the things that you have. And like with what we do, I think that was a good thing with us understanding the privilege that we had in the yep. lessons that we learned. And because of that, we decided to use our privilege to help other people. So, you know, even if it's not something that you're going to get into a business to do, <laughs> right. when you're giving people advice or you're being a listening ear or you're doing these things, once you understand the beauty of the privilege that you have, it's easier for you to help others instead of mm -hmm. sit and wallow in the things that you wish you, you wish you had that you don't have. Right. You know, exactly. So. And don't use your privilege to humiliate someone else. Mm -hmm. You know, queens don't do that. No. <laughs> we hope you guys got some gems from this video. Um, we love doing this work for you guys and, and spending time with you on our socials. So make sure you're following our social medias. You know, on YouTube and Facebook, we're Outstanding Personal Relationships. And on IG, we're Outstanding Relationships. Make sure you guys hit that like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so you're notified every time we upload. And share it because sharing is it's caring. It's caring. Not, not caring. caring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sharing the brain. <laughs> um, but yes, and in the comments, what should we put? We ain't did that. We're going to do that. Yeah.
Was it uh <laughs> no not twinsies? <laughs> and we definitely ain't put nasty co-wives like no, to last when I flubbed last time. Yeah, um, like, put it up in there. Yeah, just put don't put it in there, y'all, because mm-hmm. I'll I will look at them comments and be hollering. Because that <laughs> would be all my fault. Let's put um uh healthy privilege. Healthy privilege. Healthy privilege. Love it. Have, have, if you can't spell it, don't ask me. Yes, healthy privilege. <laughs> That's coach <All> right. Then <laughs> boom. And it just depends on the time of day to ask me because my brain probably will leave the chat as well. So oh <laughs> make sure you are growing intentionally and loving fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Until next time. Assalamualaikum. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And... Last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling, if you want to work with us one-on-one or in group settings, make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC. Make sure you are growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level every Every single single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. Peace.